Have you noticed that everybody seems to be vaping now? In this video, I wanna go through what are the benefits or perceived benefits of vaping because they do have impacts on the brain. Helps me think. Then I want to go into who are these vapes actually beneficial for? And then finally, some of the negative health implications of vaping because they are causing some real health issues. <laughs> Sorry, it's a popcorn lung. I'm Jack, I'm a doctor in the UK, and I like to go through the health literature online and try to find things to help you live happier and healthier. So if you like the idea of that, then please subscribe. And let's get into this. I think the first thing that we need to cover here is that vapes are really beneficial for a certain group of people. I'm not addicted. I just need a couple every hour or so, so I don't go completely insane. Peter, that's exactly what addicted means. When you have people who are chronic smokers that are really struggling to stop smoking, they're so beneficial for those people because with smoke, you've got the tobacco, you've got all of the carcinogens that can cause mouth and lung and systemic cancer that we don't have in vapes. All a vape is, is a fluid that you heat up and then that has loads of nicotine within it. So then you inhale that water vapor and that gives you that nicotine kick. Whereas within smoke, you've got all of those carcinogens. So for smokers, vaping is incredibly beneficial. But what we have now is a massive group of people who would never have smoked but are now choosing to vape. So what is so beneficial about vaping? What makes us wanna keep going back to it? Uh, how is it impacting the brain and how can it impact the body as well? The main thing that we get from vaping is nicotine. And nicotine is actually incredibly beneficial for your focus. So I'm obsessed with Sherlock Holmes and in Sherlock, whenever he's trying to solve a really difficult problem, he always says, oh, I need a cigarette. What are you doing? Nicotine patch. Helps me think. That's because there are cognitive impacts of nicotine. There's a really nice analogy that Andrew Huberman came up with that is the arrow analogy of focus. So when we think about this arrow, we have three main elements of it. So we've got the tip of the arrow that is acetylcholine and that largely determines the direction of our focus. Next we've got the shaft of the arrow and that is adrenaline and that provides us with the energy for which to focus and finally we've got the propeller or the motor on the back and that is dopamine. What dopamine is doing is providing us with the ongoing reward and the ongoing motivation to keep pursuing something. What nicotine does is increase all three of those things, which helps us to focus. So we can spotlight our focus with the acetylcholine. Then we have more noradrenaline, which gives us the energy to pursue the task. And then we have the dopamine, which provides us with the reward. There are cognitive benefits of having nicotine, but the massive increase in dopamine that it causes is what makes it so addictive. And actually, the rate of dopamine increase in vaping is much greater than the rate of dopamine increase with smoking, which means it's actually more addictive. So the other big benefit of nicotine is that it suppresses appetite and increases metabolism, which is why you always see the supermodels smoking and they can't stop smoking because it allows them to keep the figure that keeps them on the catwalk. Those are the benefits of nicotine. What I want to educate on next is what are the health issues associated with vaping? It's widely accepted now that smoking is terrible for us, but I think what we've not fully grasped is how bad vaping is for us. So don't get me wrong, if you're a smoker and you're thinking about vaping versus smoking, vaping is so much better for you. But for the person who would never have smoked and has never smoked, vaping is terrible. So what we've seen is lots of cases come in where the heat associated with the vape is causing lung injury and also some of the chemicals that are in there is causing lung injury. So we've got 
two chest x-rays here. We've got the normal one and we've got the vaping associated lung injury on a chest x-ray. And what this causes is your lungs obviously allow for gas exchange. That's where you get all of the oxygen that you take to your tissues and allow your body to work fully. And when you impair that gas exchange, that means less oxygen is able to get into your body and you're not able to clear all of the carbon dioxide. And that causes real issues. These vaping associated lung injuries have caused people to die and caused people to be sent to intensive care. So they're causing massive issues. And the other one that keeps coming up, I've seen on TikTok and social media, is people just throwing around popcorn lung and... Well, <laughs> Sorry, it's a popcorn lung. And this is what a popcorn lung actually looks like. And again, we have that impaired gas exchange, which means that your lungs are not able to function properly. Vaping causes real, real issues with your lungs, but we're also not sure about all of the long-term implications of vaping. So bottom line is if you're a smoker, then please start vaping. That's much better for you. But for all of the non-smokers, if somebody offers you a vape on a night out, my medical recommendation would be just don't accept it. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Thanks.